Honolulu's troubled transit line might not make it to the end. It's time for another episode of Bells and Whistles. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Magazine, with a look at the top stories we were following the week ending April 30th. A 119-year-old Union Pacific Steel Trust Railroad Bridge might be too big for any takers. The Class 1 Railroad will be building a new bridge across the East Boyer River in Denison, Iowa later this year, and the main portion of the existing span is available for those who are interested. Moving the bridge could take as many as two cranes. The quadrangular lattice through truss bridge includes a double track bridge structure and an attached single track structure, which carries a road. The steel truss is about 120 feet long and weighs about 500,000 pounds. Taking away the bridge would involve complicated logistics and extensive disassembly. Insurance also is required for the move. Those interested in the structure are asked to call the Crawford County Auditor's Office. Amtrak is hoping President Biden is true to his nickname after the Passenger Service's latest budget request. On April 29, Amtrak asked Congress for $5.4 billion for the next budget year. Now we will see if President Biden, called Amtrak Joe, can get the necessary support for such a request. The Passenger Rail Service says $3.88 billion will be used to recover from the pandemic, but another $1.55 billion is needed to take care of Northeast Corridor infrastructure projects and to begin expanding service around the country. On April 27, the Federal Railroad Administration announced it was making more than $1.69 billion available to Amtrak to provide relief from COVID-19 to the company's business operations, workforce, and state funding partners. <laughs> Montgomery County, Maryland officials wanted the Purple Line to be single-tracked at the Bethesda station to make room for a popular recreational trail. However, the Maryland Department of Transportation has rejected the request. The agency said changing the design at this point would put the project in significant risk due to the fact it would require another round of federal approval. A single track also would slow trains, meaning they would be eight minutes apart, and the federally approved plan calls for trains to be seven and a half minutes apart. If a train has mechanical problems and is stuck at the station, it would require costly bus bridges. With the request denied, Montgomery County will now have to pay $54.9 million for the rail tunnel. Middle Street could be the end street for the Honolulu Authority Rapid Transportation's troubled light rail line. Board members discussed the possibility on April 23. The last stop of the route is supposed to be the Ala Moana Center, but now it might be shortened in an attempt to salvage a service that is hemorrhaging financially. Hart has gone through some cost-cutting efforts recently, but it is still 80% short of a killer $3.5 billion deficit. Bad news, however, continued for the project as tensioning wires were left to rust and corrode because they were not properly grouted in a timely manner. The contractor behind the construction will use acoustic monitoring technology to check the extent of the damage. Well, that's a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending April 30th. For the latest news, go to www.rtands.com. You can also look us up on Twitter and Facebook. Have a great weekend, everyone.